Choosing the way to die, what's the difference? Choosing the way to live, that's the hard part. Robert Ryan, he worked in Hollywood, but he was hardly Hollywood. Bob was an actor first, a star second. He could be the good guy, he could be a bad guy. He could play the lover, you name it, he could play it. That's what good acting is all about. No man is an island. When the funeral bell rings, it isn't just for the dead guy. It's a little bit for all of us. Bob was a good man, but quiet. I can't say I knew him real well. I don't know if anyone did. He was a very private person. He didn't say much, but you knew when he was around. Bob Ryan and I worked on three films together, Bad Day at Black Rock, The Wild Bunch, and the World War II classic, The Dirty Dozen. They'll knock out Breed's headquarters and catch his entire staff. <laughs> that I'd like to see. So would I. <laughs> I first worked with Bob on the film Bad Day at Black Rock. He was like everyone else on that set, including yours truly, very much in awe of star Spencer Tracy. And one day, while I was watching one of their scenes from the sidelines, I noticed that Tracy had his head bent down and was delivering his dialogue to the ground. I thought, how can the audience pay attention to Tracy? Then I realized that he was stealing the scene. All eyes were on Tracy. <laughs> I swear you're beginning to make me mad. All strangers do. Hmm? Well, I know. No. Some do when they come around snooping. Looking for what? I don't know. Outsiders coming in looking for something. Looking for what? I don't know. <laughs> and there was Bob, that excellent actor doing everything but dropping his pants in order to stay in the scene. <laughs> oh, Bob, he hung in there, though. He was all business, believe me. I have a feeling he was like that from the start. Bob's first big success came with his role of the racist sergeant in the controversial film Crossfire, starring two other Roberts, Mitchum and Young. What'd you have to go after the guy for? Crime any money? Why'd you have to start in? I no can't... Jew is gonna tell me how to drink his stinking liquor. Ryan's handsome, rugged face with just a squint or a twitch could telegraph to the audience what was going on in that character's mind. Ryan received his first and only Academy Award nomination for this role, and it seemed to steer him toward other menacing roles. Have I done anything to hurt you? No, of course you haven't. I'm glad. Because I wouldn't want to hurt you. And I might, you know. With his sharp intelligence, dark good looks and piercing eyes, Bob brought a depth and complexity to his villains that most actors only dream about achieving. To his heroes, he brought more than a hint of hidden danger. Another Ryan performance that impressed me was in the boxing movie, The Setup. Now, Bob had been an intercollegiate boxing champion at Dartmouth, so he was a guy who knew what he was doing. <laughs> What made Ryan so interesting as an actor was that he sought out roles that were different and difficult. He didn't go for those easy, likable parts. Don't kid me, baby. I know a bottle by the label. My most vivid recollection of Bob was on the production of The Wild Bunch. We were assigned a dressing room together, and one day I noticed all of my clothes had been thrown on the ground outside. I said, hey, I, I know I'm supposed to look dirty, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> so I, I went up to Ryan and I said, excuse me, Bob, but I think we're supposed to share this dressing room. He couldn't have been nicer. He said, oh, did I throw your clothes out? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> he was a good Joe, and boy, could he act. We're after men, and I wish to God I was with them. The next time you make a mistake, I'm going to ride off and let you die. Uh. I've always thought that Bob was kind of like the fella he played in The Wild Bunch, Deke Thornton, a lonely outcast who said so much with that defiant smile. I loved what critic Paul Zimmerman wrote after Bob's death. He left behind a lifetime of roles too small for his talent. Yes, sir. Ryan was a craftsman from start to finish. 
He was an actor first, a star second. For Turner Classic Movies, I'm Ernest Borgman. See Crossfire, Saturday at 9 a.m., part of 31 Days of Oscar, only on Turner Classic Movies.